talk to you about something called the lotus effect. The lotus effect occurs on a plant called the lotus plant, which grows in many regions across the country. Here in front of me, we have two different leaves. On the right, we have a lettuce leaf. On the left, we have a kale leaf. Neither of them are lotus. However, they do show signs of the lotus effect. Why don't we go ahead and touch each leaf? Go ahead and touch the lettuce leaf like this and the kale leaf. Can you tell me if there's any differences between the two that you feel? How do you think each leaf will perform when drops of water are actually put on the leaf? Here's some water. Let's squirt a drop on each leaf or two and see what happens. Can you tell me the differences between the two? If you notice, on the lettuce leaf, the water just flattens out and puddles. On the kale leaf, it's bubbled up in each individual droplet. Why do you think that happened? That's where the lotus effect comes in. On the surface, on the nano, nano level of the surface on each leaf, that's where you find the difference. Each surface of the lettuce leaf has a different texture. On the kale leaf, it happens to be little, tiny, nano-sized, nanometer-sized fingers. In the lettuce leaf, there isn't. Those fingers are what gives this effect. Here we have a graphic representation of the surface of the lotus leaf. This is a very close view of the surface of the lotus leaf. The lotus leaf stays extremely clean because of the lotus effect. As you can see, the fingers, the nano-sized fingers, on top of the leaf, is what keeps the water from dropping within the valleys. When the water stays in this spherical shape, it rolls off the leaf, picking up the dirt particles along its way. Here is a water drop that shows how the lotus leaf is hydrophobic. The water drop in a spherical shape sits on top of those nano-sized fingers. Here, we show how a water drop is hydrophilic this water drop flattens out on the surface of our lettuce leaf. Let me show you how this lotus effect actually works. Let's say my hand is the surface of the lettuce leaf. Let's say this is a drop of water. Let's drop this water on my hand or the surface of the, lo the lettuce leaf. You see how it stays on my hand? Now let's change this surface to be more like the surface of the kale leaf or the lotus plant. It has little fingers that stick out from the surface of the leaf. Those tiny, tiny fingers are smaller than the drop of water. And the surface tension of the drop of water keeps it on top of these fingers. Let's see what happens when I drop the water on these fingers. it rolls off. Now that you've learned about the lotus effect, you may wonder what this has to do with nanotechnology. Well, scientists have taken what they've observed in nature and put it into applications that will help us in our environment. One such application is lotus and paint. This paint is used to coat the surfaces of stucco and concrete buildings. Those surfaces are naturally harder to clean but with the paint, it allows it to act more like the lotus leaf, and water rolls off naturally. 